Hi everyone, so I hope all of you are doing fine. Today I'm going to make a very lovely recipe video, but it's not a cooking recipe, it's going to be a beauty recipe. So stay tuned, watch and enjoy, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lovely videos and recipes. Take care, bye. Normally I say let's go to the kitchen, today I'm going to say let's go to the toilet. Just felt so weird saying that. Anyway, off to the toilet we go. I actually just forgot, why am I going to the toilet without the ingredients? Okay, so we are at the kitchen. I'm going to make this recipe first before we go to the toilet small spoon for mixing so in this video you'll mostly be seeing my face because it's a beauty video rather than a food video so I got to get my hair all put back a bit but first let me make these ingredients once we got the spoon and this cup what we got to do is I'm going to put about one teaspoon of honey into that there we are and then we need one teaspoon of turmeric. I normally just use this much quantity. If you want more, feel free to use more. That's up to your personal preference. For my face, I feel this is enough. Right, so now let's go to the toilet. Okay, so let's get started. Here I have this mist spray that I use on my face. It's so good. So this mist spray, it actually comes of rose water and aloe vera. So the aloe vera shouldn't be chunky because you got to, you know, put it in the spray bottle. So it should be nice and liquid in consistency. Or you can even use this. So this is the aloe vera soothing after sun spray. So you can mix this with a little bit of rose water and then use that to spray on your face and it instantly gives this lovely glow. So you can see I put minimal amount of makeup today because I'm going to do this video. So the first step is to make the face nice and moist. So I'm going to put this aloe vera rose water spray all over. Woo. The next step is to mix this uh, turmeric and honey mixture nicely and rub it on your face. There we are. So just mix this honey and turmeric mixture nicely until it forms a paste. Feel free to add in more honey if it's not forming a paste and it's too dry. But as you mix it, you should get this nice sort of... Uh, See, sticky, gooey sort of a mixture. See? There we are. So nice and glossy mixture, and it's ready to be put onto the face. So you can see it's, it does not stick to your face. Like if you put turmeric and water, what happens is your face can tend to be yellowy. This it just forms like this sort of a layer. You can see it's plasticky, if that makes sense. So you got to nicely work it in there in order to get it to stick to your skin and you know got to really really press it in there but trust me it'll be worth it and try to always do it in upward motions don't pull your skin down it's not good it's always upward motions so how do I look everyone You can see it's nice and glossy and always use your fingers the heat from your fingers to work nicely on it because it's not easy to spread this um, pack all right everyone so once you've done that we can take the rose water and aloe vera spritz close our eyes and spritz it once more okay now we wait for this lovely glossy baby to dry up. Well, it won't fully dry because it's got that sticky honey element in it. But after about 15-20 minutes um, or however long you want to keep it for, you know, you can wash your face once, you know, you want to wash it off and yeah. So you can see how nice and glossy this um, pack is, the face pack. Alright everyone, so after 15-20 minutes, we can take the wet wipes and start um, removing the pack. So it will take time, so press it nicely, you know, give it a little bit of exfoliation as well as you take it off. So that will make sure all the impurities from your skin is gone away. When you press and rub it off, it will be slightly red, so that's just the blood circulation, so it's good. Just don't press it too hard. There we are, so it's getting there. So squeeze the wet wipes nicely, otherwise the water will start dripping down your face. So you need to get this off fully before you can wash your face with just plain water. Until then, you need the help of this wet wipe. Alright everyone, so using the wet wipes, I took most of it that I can. 
and you can see that there's still on some spots the yellow discoloration so this is when you use the face wash and wash that off so you can see how nicely it's brought out the complexion you know the, all the pigmentation and everything has reduced and it's just brought that glow out of your skin so once you use this face back you'll definitely feel that see the difference in your skin so you'll see that nice glow coming out all right so now i'm going to put some cream moisturizer so it's still a little bit pinkish and red with the irritation of exfoliating it so i'm just going to put some uh, moisturizer on the face so i use the garnier wake up cream all day hydration and see it's like this little gel and just wipe it onto the skin nicely And then if I'm going outside, just put a little bit of foundation, blend it up nicely with a brush. So I don't normally do beauty videos and things like that, but now because there's time, you know, at home to show these because you need to take time for these. There's no point of rushing and doing these things. So it's always good to put this mask, I normally don't put just before I go out to be honest. I just put it before bed. So the next day morning, you know, it's... Otherwise you see these little light yellow color from the turmeric. You know, so you can't just take it off straight away and go out straight away. If you're putting this mask, it's better to put it a day before you have a party or something like that. Or if it's every day, just do it at night. So there we are and put some lipstick on. All right, that's it. Simple and nice, isn't it? So what do you think everyone? Comment and let me know below how this product has worked for you. It's natural and see it just brings out that nice glow to your skin and with a little bit of light makeup it goes a long way like really you know and with regular use it goes a long way see. there we everyone so after about five minutes and then what you can do is you can spritz the rose spray and the aloe vera rose and aloe vera spray onto your face so that was a daylight sort of a bright light so this is with a warm light the look of the face you know in warm light so just showing you in different lights because it's evening time here and you know that natural sunlight isn't there at the moment but you can see how nice and clear the skin has become with just you know minimal makeup it's just looks so good and so natural so that's yeah hope all of you enjoyed this video subscribe to my youtube channel for more lovely videos and recipes take care bye